What's cool? What's creepy? What's happening? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's time for life. Mm. I have been having a lot of issues with my hands. So I've been having issues with writing. Whenever I write, it's like it's really, I don't know, for some reason, it really hurts my hand and it gets all stiff. And actually between the two hands my dominant hand is always a little bit swollen i got pens for days i got all kinds of pens i got fancy pens i got thin pens i got thicker pens so this is actually an ergonomical pen right it has a dip here and it's like a funny shape you can put your it's like a dip in here you can put your thumb in there and you're supposed to write like this and it gets more interesting normal peeps they can just go around with the big pen super duper cheap and all one of these paper made pens you know the ink joy things mm -hmm. also very cheap but for me it doesn't work i've had to go for this fancy one i think this is a, this is a parker it's one of these okay fancy smashy and one of my latest editions the cross pen yeah it goes like that and yeah you can right away hmm. listen in my time of school uni quick question how do you hold your pen do you hold it like this this do you hold it like i've seen some strange stuff the, the one that i see all the time is this for this where the thumb is just kind of straight i've seen this how do you hold your pen let me know Thumb below what have you i have gotten so so many pens different different pens and sometimes when they were too tiny i'll get like an attachment on there so this is one of those attachments and i'm going to show a lot more in this video they're called hand grips or pen grips and yeah this is one that i got and as you can see, there's such a difference from how I'm holding the pen with that thing and without that thing. And yeah, these are all the different ways, more of them, more different ways that I realize people write. I really just observe people and then I would just start writing like them just to see if it would alleviate some of the pain. That's a very weird one because the pen kind of just pops out of your hand, basically. But anywho, let me know if you write like that. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Um, so that it, it becomes less tiny and the, your grip is wider because the wider your grip even okay if you're somebody who has painful hands you'll know this if you have a very tiny pen like when you're holding on to it it's like it's like it's my hands. hold on we don't do ash over on this channel we only do moisturized glowing and blessed with the Holy Ghost okay so then you have the thin ones right you have to put things on there uh -huh. what was i saying i don't actually know what i was saying anyway you get my drift so the thinner the pen right for people who have problems with writing because apparently there's loads of people because you have you even have the stabilo pens i've had those before and um, you've got them made for people that are left-handed and people that are right-handed i hold up one minute so we're not going to talk about the fact that the right-handed pens are reduced and the left-handed ones are not this is discrimination and I'm not even left-handed shoot I've literally oh my goodness I've literally gone out once before a very important exam and my hand felt like it was about to fall off and I literally had to go to the shop and be like right which pen can I buy because I was like as I was studying I was writing things down because that helps me learn and so oh we no, it was bad I mean, in my later days of uni and stuff, I just started taking my laptop everywhere because, you know, it wasn't weird at this point, you know, um, everybody was kind of doing it. Everybody had a laptop, you know, but your earlier days, like school and stuff like that, I used to really suffer. And I used to be buying pens all the time because I had so much pain in my hands. Now, yeah. So that when it's thin, it's like you squeeze onto it more. It's just kind of natural. But imagine if you have pain in your hands now, if you hold a pen like this 
imagine even if you do this right just put your fingers together like this imagine if you had to do this already you can see you're relaxing your muscles a little bit you know so people started coming out with very huge pens okay what i said earlier was actually incorrect they're called pen grips or finger grips and yeah if you just type that into google you'll get amazon wherever funny websites that specialize in this kind of thing and there are so many and this makes me see that i am definitely not alone in this as the years have gone by they have come up with so much more which i'm so happy to see but yeah if you have any more tips and tricks for your girl let me know please and thank you now let's get back to the video i actually remember a time where my teacher in school would allow me to write with one of these yes this is a whiteboard marker and i would have like many many a4 papers and she would allow me to write with it because it's thick and it was easier although not sustainable because obviously i couldn't do that for the whole of my like academic career so that didn't quite help but thank god for laptops because that was really a savior and because of that as well this is what my mind mouse looks like it's like one of those ergonomical ones which i got on amazon for like 12 pounds and it helps because this is more for your wrist but it helps because your wrist is kind of just like normal instead of when we do this and your your wrist is kind of twisted with the normal mouse or this your your wrist is kind of in a normal you know it's it's just sitting normally you get what i mean so the normal mouse is like that and this mouse is just like this and it makes your hand you know it's just straight and aligned so that helps me a lot I got this fancy gyro ball it's on Amazon as well I think it's like 12 pounds and you have this red thing in it okay let me try and do this and not make a mess so you have this red thing in it you release it and the thing starts oh my gosh well that was an epic feel okay let's try that again shall we and anyway, whilst I put this back in, so you see there's a hole in there, and then you just kind of put this thing in there, this red bit that has a plastic part. And the interesting thing is, the other side got broken, and then the plastic part went inside this ball. You get two of these, I think, but it's not the best. There's another one that's like 33 pounds, so you pop it in the hole, make sure it's secure. So now I only have one side that actually properly works, and once that stops working, it's gonna be interesting so anyway it's like that and then you whew, make sure you don't go too crazy because otherwise that thing goes off again and it's just it helps more with like rsi repetitive strain injury which people get when they're doing things repetitively so for me it's like writing or if you're on your computer all the time or you're using your mouse all the time and it's just let me put this further away so that you can actually hear what i'm saying so it's actually everything that's repetitive can really hurt your hand and then of course there's carpal tunnel right and I would hear people always talking about carpal tunnel and if you don't know what it is let me explain that right now what better place to go to than the NHS UK or website so carpal tunnel syndrome also known as CTS is pressure on a nerve in your wrist and it can cause tingling numbness and pains in your hands and fingers you can often treat it yourself, but it takes month. It can take months to get better. Now, to check if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, these are some of the symptoms: an ache or pain in your fingers, hand, or arm, numb hands, tingling or pins and needles, a weak thumb, or difficult gripping. And these symptoms often start slowly and then come and go. They're usually worse at night. So, how do you treat this? It usually clears up by itself in a few months, particularly if you've had it because you're pregnant. Now, some people do wear a splint, a wrist splint, and that is something you can wear on your hand to keep your wrist straight. It helps relieve pressure on pressure on the nerve. You can wear it at night while you sleep, and you'd have to wear it for at least four weeks before you start to feel better. You can buy them. You know how it is these days. You can buy it anywhere online or from pharmacies. And how to stop or cut down on things that actually might be causing carpal tunnel syndrome so you can stop anything that causes you to frequently bend your wrist or grip hard such as by pitching tools for work or playing an instrument and now it's also dealing with a mouse um, you know that accompanies your computer or laptop but also people who apply makeup regularly so the holding of the brushes the stroking of the brushes on the face on the eyes wherever that can also lead to carpal tunnel 
and that is not talked about often enough. However, some of your favorite YouTubers, beauty gurus on YouTube do suffer from this. So yeah, it's anything that's repetitive and that's why a lot of people and more and more people are dealing with carpal tunnel syndrome. Writing a lot can also be a big part of how people get carpal tunnel. Now, painkillers like paracetamol, ibuprofen, be careful with ibuprofen though because that thing is harsh on the lining of your stomach and a lot of people that take it end up having reactions to it, so be careful with that one. But anyway, it may offer a short term relief from carpal tunnel pain. But they said there's little evidence to say that it can treat the cause of carpal tunnel. So it's important not to rely solely on them. And there's some hand exercises that you can do that can help ease the symptoms, which I'm going to show you. And then there's some other stuff which you can read yourself. Okay, back to the video. But I was like, I don't have that. I just have more cramps in my hand itself. But then in the last few months, I've started experiencing more issues with this whole carpal tunnel situation. So this thing is actually made for that. It's also made for guitarists, um, just people that use their hands a lot. And in my line of work, I have to write, 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 and write. Write so, 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 so much. So the pain... <sighs> Sometimes I actually massage my hand with my knee. <sighs> Ooh, wee. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anybody out there knows certain pens or something exercises that can help with this because it can be very debilitating and very painful. So I'm going the other way now. And it works because as I'm going one way, the ball inside is turning like the other way. And so like the forces, the two forces working against each other, help your muscles. And it's actually, it's going, but you can't see it. You hear that? It's running, but you can't actually see that it's running. It's going that fast. Yeah, did you see it move there? Yeah. It just goes in like different directions. Maybe if you can see that moving. Oh yeah, there you go. You can actually see it. See? And that is like a workout. That works amazingly. But again, it's super cheap. And then, oh, that's like a workout. Oof. Yes. This is sometimes what I do. You see, I am just, did you hear that? But I'm very flexible and that helps because, because of that, I'm able to do all these funny movements and it just really stretches, it stretches everything and makes it feel so much better. There was even a time when I tried to, when I was trying to write with my left hand, I really tried. I think I'm gonna do that more. I'm gonna sit here with a notebook, a lined notebook, and then I'll just grab a pen and just be writing something whilst I listen to some, I don't know, watch some YouTube or something like that. And just be writing some repetitive sentences or just write whatever comes up in my mind and get used to it. Cause ultimately that's how we learned to write with the other hand. But, ooh. I actually feel so much better. I feel so much better. Ooh. Yeah, so that's not all actually. I forgot. I do those funny exercises, right? I'll maybe do this and try and stretch my hand. Try and do this with me. Okay, try and do this with me. These are the things that I do. I do this. Hold them very tight and come down. Funnily enough, I only feel this in the in these two fingers here. But yeah, I do all sorts and I do this. It's more for my thumb and I'm pressing them against each other. Then I do that. Try and bend it all the way over and I can feel that in my wrist coming all the way down. And I do the other side. Because my left hand works hard too. So then sometimes I do that. This is more for my wrist, and then I turn, 
I turn my hand. Ooh. Mm. And I can be walking around doing this out and about, you know. I'll just be like, mm. I'm sure I look crazy, but I, I just sometimes can't even understand how other people are not feeling this kind of pain. And then I just do that and I've got my hands flexed you can't see it because it's out of the shot and then I turn it around and I come up I'm flexing my hand and that's what makes it a good stretch all the way up you can see me doing that and go down 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 Ooh, and it's the flex it's all in the flex and that makes it see see Hey, huh. and you know this one well that doesn't really do much it just kind of relaxes all the stuff that we have been doing and then sometimes I do this like a fist and then sometimes I use my elbow and I go in like I'll put this on the table and I'll go in like that and then sometimes I do that with my knee so I would like stand up and I'll go and like proper put my full weight on the palm of my hand because that's how painful it is i got another device i've got this thing you plug this into the computer and then it's supposed to massage you let this work again i haven't actually used it in such a long time oh yeah yeah so you kind of just it just vibrates it's supposed to be more for your back but my back good now. It's my it's my hand. Get right in there. This is where I'm feeling the pain these days. And it's it's not even really a pain, it's more like uncomfortable feeling. Anyway, so that was plugged into the laptop. Oh. See, it's got a USB situation. Then huh, I thought I was done. Think again. So I got this ball. It's just like a ball. It's not very squishy unless you do this. But to hold it in your hand actually squeezes quite hard. And that's supposed to help. But this is really hard because you're squeezing and it feels like you're doing nothing. Maybe I should start doing this. Thumb exercise. It just feels weird. Ooh. Okay. So then what else we got? We got this one. We got this one. You just kind of squeeze it like this. And that helps as well why you're training the muscles but also the fact that you're pressing down on this part is good for like this part that hurts with me it kind of hurts there so it feels good i got this pack with these black things on amazon they came in this kind of pouch but then i had another one that you can squeeze i have no idea where that thing is but anyway got him But it, now this one is so hard this is so hard i feel like i should let us start doing this as kids so that by the time you're adults your hands are trained just like before bodybuilding and stuff like that so that by the time you're an adult like you've got like your muscles are really used to this kind of stuff because all they know to do is be like write this write that and i'm still from the <laughs> generation where i have written some essays by hand mm -hmm. i remember that in those days they could have given us some of these things Ooh, ow it just actually feels so weird if oh did you hear that crack oh my goodness go two three four five six i'm gonna try and do ten seven eight oh okay that felt like i'm about to break my thumb like i just crack all over just now my foot cracked like everything cracks nine ten just let me know if you know about anybody who has these kind of issues when they're writing or do you know somebody who buys a lot of pens because they just can't get comfortable with any one pen better yet send them this video um do you know what can be done about this pain do you know how it can be stopped i've seen a lot of doctors in a lot of different countries about this situation and yeah it's really annoying but there's something else that i got recently it is a massager and it has infrared it has infrared so it will yeah it will be it will warm up as you massage and i'm gonna use that everywhere but also on my hand because it's quite painful sometimes i do this as well i just get in there and obviously i put a hot water bottle on it and everything like i try so many different things but it's yeah 
before I do this. Yeah. <sighs> Something as normal and as simple as just writing has never been that normal and simple for me, like ever. So yeah, please help if you know how. Help a sister out because I'm suffering. I really am though. So yeah, I will be reviewing that little machine in another video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Bye. Make sure you hit thumb stomp and zoom to the subscribe button. Did you hear my elbow crack as I did that as on to move? Anywho, um, do all of that. And whilst you're at it, hit the notification bell. Tap the like button too if you like this video. Share with everybody you know, but especially people who are suffering with carpal tunnel syndrome or whatever. Okay, bye.